Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Bolt Backpack from Waterfield Designs. And this is a very stylish and premium feeling work in everyday bag. I've been testing this out for the past couple of weeks and so far it's been a really good experience. The bag has been very comfortable to wear, it has an awesome build quality, I really like the overall aesthetic and the classic styling that it has, it has some nice organizational options and an impressive amount of space. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys and I want to thank the company for sending the bag for me to test out. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting out with the outside of the bag, I really like the overall aesthetic. This has a very stylish and classic look that feels like it's never going to go out of style. And this is going to look great whether you're taking this into the office or for walking around the city. As I've been wearing this, I always feel like I have Indiana Jones' backpack. It just feels like something that's going to age really well. And because of the durability of the materials used, it just seems like something that you're going to have for a long period of time. Jumping into the materials, the bag definitely has a very premium build quality. The version that I have here is a waxed canvas that feels really rugged and like it's going to hold up well to rougher usage. The bag is also offered in a very durable ballistic nylon, which I feel might offer a little bit better weather resistance, but personally I just really love the look of the wax canvas and this still feels really durable and like it's going to keep all of my stuff very well protected. On top of that, the bag has very well sealed YKK zippers for the main compartment and the laptop area to help keep your electronics protected against the rain. To add to the premium feeling of the bag, there's also some really nice full grain leather accenting all throughout. So at the top handle, you have this very well padded area that has this high quality leather. And then you also have leather on some of the buckles on the front, the logo, and then on the bottom. So just a really great feeling bag all throughout. And then continuing along the outside, I was really happy to see that the bag has two external water bottle pockets, and these have a really nice amount of space. So in this one here on the right, I currently have the same water bottle that you've seen in all my other daily bag videos, and that fits in there very comfortably. So a really nice amount of capacity here. It has a nice amount of depth to prevent your water bottle from tipping over. You can also use this to hold maybe something like an umbrella or a smaller tripod. One thing about these compartments is they don't have a whole lot of elasticity, but I do like that they come up enough that they won't take up any space from the main area of the bag. And then jumping into the capacity, the bag comes in at about 17 liters according to the company site. To me this felt a little bit closer to 20 just due to the simpler layout. I was really surprised with how much I was able to fit in here and then I really like that the bag always maintained a really slim silhouette even when it was fully packed out, making it great for walking around crowded areas or jumping onto public transit. And then moving into the straps and the back paneling, overall the bag has felt really comfortable to wear. I really like how the straps have been implemented here. They have a nice amount of padding. They're fairly thick on the inside. They have this meshing material to help prevent moisture from building up. And then they also have a really great width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders even when it's fully packed out. One thing that I did notice about the straps is that there is no sort of sternum strap or the ability to add one, which I think works well for the aesthetic of this bag. And considering that it's not that big of a bag, I really don't think it would be needed. And then continuing on with the back paneling, this has also been really comfortable. This has a nice amount of padding. It's very soft. It also has the same meshing material that we saw on the straps to help prevent moisture from building up. On top of that, there's also a nice amount of elevation to create some air channels to help airflow while you're walking around throughout the day. So it's felt really great even when I've had the bag packed out with a lot of stuff. The last thing I'll mention while we're on the back paneling is that it has this really nice luggage pass through here towards the bottom to allow you to rest this on your suitcase when you're traveling with an additional bag to help save some weight while you're walking around. And then jumping into the organizational options, I really like all the different pockets that the bag offers. It's a very effective layout. And so starting off with the quick access compartments on the front, there's two similar larger slip pockets that are secured with these magnetic buckles. I really love the use of the magnetic buckles to just make it very easy to get in and out of the compartment. And so a nice amount of space in these areas. They don't have any sort of elasticity, but they do have enough volume to allow you to store some larger items. And so in this one here on the right, what I currently have is just my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case. And then in the one on the left, I just have my Blue Pop portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank. So really nice amount of space here. Very simple compartments, no sort of fleece lining or internal organization on the inside. It just has this nice inner lining that we'll take a closer look at when we get into the main area. And so one thing I noticed about the buckles on this compartment is that if you place anything too bulky or tall, they do have some difficulty securing. So the items that I had in here, they came down a little bit below the buckle, so I didn't really run into any issues, but just something to keep in mind. And then another thing that I'll note is that these compartments are a little bit more exposed if you happen to get caught in some rain they don't have any zippers there's this flap here that kind of covers this zippered area that we're going to take a look at in a second but it doesn't really come down that low so it can offer some protection but in general if there's a chance that i'm going to get caught in some rain i would definitely not place any sort of electronics into these two front compartments and then behind those, there's an additional zippered area here that offers a nice amount of space and protection, a very simple layout in this compartment. Currently what I have in here is just a simple pouch that I use to hold some of my dongles and tech accessories. 
And then I also have just a simple lightning cable to charge my iPad and my phone. I keep that a little bit looser just so I can reach in and grab it quickly. Besides that, nothing else in this compartment. I still had some leftover space, so I really love this for just being able to toss in you know, my phone, my wallet, anything that I need to get rid of quickly while I'm going through TSA. It's just great to be able to toss this in here and then just have a lot of space to be able to reach my stuff quickly throughout the day. And then the next area that we're gonna take a look at is the laptop sleeve. And so this is part of the main compartment. There's only one main area in this bag, but it's nice that there's a separate zipper here on the back to allow you to access the laptop compartment specifically a little bit quicker since it has this lip that kind of pops up over the top, which we'll take a closer look at in a second. But talking about the laptop compartment specifically, I really love how this has been implemented here. A very nice amount of protection. It has a very premium feeling. So a nice amount of padding here. It's a very thick sleeve. And then on the inside, it has this nice fleece lining to help prevent scratching on your devices. So really love the implementation here. This can easily fit up to a 15 inch laptop. I think it also fits the newer 16 inch MacBook Pro. I currently have a 13 inch MacBook Pro in here and it fits in there very comfortably. You can see that there's some leftover space here. So pulling my laptop out. Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. It does come up a nice amount, so if you have a thicker device, it should be able to fit in there okay. I do wish that the back side of the compartment had had this same fleece lining just to give a little bit more protection for your device. And then one thing that I will note is that the compartment isn't suspended off the bottom of the ground. It does have some reinforcing on the bottom and padding, so it's still pretty protected if you happen to place your bag down a little bit harder, but I still would have preferred to see a little bit more of a false bottom. With that being said though, the compartment does feel like it's gonna offer plenty of protection for my device while I'm running around throughout the day. And then in front of the laptop sleeve, you also have a separate padded sleeve for your tablet. I really love that you have an actual tablet area that you can use to keep your device protected. This has the same fleece lining that we saw in the laptop sleeve and it's also fairly thick, so it offers a nice amount of padding. So currently what I have in here is just my iPad mini and that's kind of swallowed up by the compartment. So plenty of space here, even if you wanted to place the larger iPad Pros with the keyboard cover, it should be able to fit in here comfortably. So just a really great job overall of offering some great protection for a variety of devices. And then the last area that we're gonna take a look at is the main compartment. So this has a really nice wide opening area. This is a top loading bag. I really like how much this comes up to make it very easy to see everything that's in the main area. And so a really nice amount of space here. It's a pretty simple layout, but that makes it a lot more effective for holding some larger items. And so jumping in, the first thing that I have here is my Beats Studio wireless headphones. And then I also have a full-size moleskin notebook. And then the last thing that I have in here is my Levitate portable standing desk, and that fits in there very easily. And so now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. I really love the use of this bright orange lining to just make it very easy to see everything that's in the main area. And then since this main area seems so spacious, I was curious about how it would work as a minimal travel bag. So what I wanted to do was to see if it could hold my larger double-sided and compressible packing cube. And I think that fits in here very comfortably. And even with that in there, there's still some leftover space so I could throw in something like my Air Dop kit and maybe an additional pair of shoes. And then if I wanted to use this for a weekend trip or for a quick business trip, this is gonna actually end up working really well. So just really love the effectiveness of the layout on this main area. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention in this main area is that there is a little bit of internal organization. It has some simple slip pockets here on the lid that are gonna be great for keeping smaller accessories easier to find instead of getting lost down in this cavernous main area. And so the first thing that I'll mention here is that it does have this lanyard with a metallic clip, which is gonna be great for attaching your keys. I really like the use of these metallic clips. It's very easy to get your keys on and off. The only thing that I currently have attached here at the moment, however, is my Gerber Dime Multi-Tool. And then in addition to the lanyard, there's two additional Velcro slip pockets that are gonna offer a nice amount of space. These are gonna be great for holding some larger accessories. So in this one on the right, what I currently have is my GoPro Hero 3 Plus, and that fits in there very comfortably. A nice amount of depth and volume in this compartment. I can almost fit my whole hand. So this is gonna be a great spot for putting chargers or maybe a portable hard drive. And then next to that, there's an identically sized compartment also with a Velcro opening. So really like the use of this Velcro to help keep the items from slipping out accidentally. And here what I currently have is my Apple Magic Mouse. And then I also have my Apple AirPods Pro. So I just really like the simplicity and the space offered by these compartments as well as the rest of the main area. And I just really love the layout throughout the entire rest of the bag. And if you're looking for something very stylish and durable that's gonna work well in a variety of environments, this is gonna be a fantastic option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a really great experience testing out the Bolt backpack over the past couple of weeks. It has a great build quality. It's been very comfortable to wear. I really like the overall aesthetic and it just has some nice organizational options. And so you can currently purchase this on Waterfield's site for about $329, which is definitely premium pricing for an everyday bag, but you are getting a very solidly built product that's gonna be with you for a long time. And if buying something that's made in the USA is something that's important to you, this may justify the additional cost. 
And so as I was testing this out, one of the first bags this made me think of was the Rucksack from Nutsack, which is another made in the USA bag that also has a pretty premium price. That one has a great build quality as well, a very classic look. And if you're looking for something with this sort of build quality, but a little bit of a different aesthetic, that's gonna be a great option to check out as well. The next bag this made me think of was the 24-hour backpack from Recycled Firefighter, which is another great company that makes bags in the USA. That is one of my favorite everyday bags. It has a great build quality. It's very comfortable. The materials on that don't feel quite as premium as this bag here, but it does come in at under $200, and it has a very simple and effective layout. And if you're looking for something that's made in the USA that's going to hold up well over the longer term, that's going to be a great option to check out. Another bag this made me think of was the Topo Designs Global Briefcase 3-Day, which we looked at pretty recently. That one has a very unique style, a very solid build quality. I really like that you can use that bag as a briefcase, a shoulder bag, or a backpack. It has some nice organizational options, and it actually has a little bit more space than this, so it's going to work well for business travel in addition to day-to-day -day use. So if you're looking for something with a little bit more of a professional aesthetic that you can carry in a variety of ways and that comes in at under $200, the Topo Designs Global Briefcase is going to be another great option to keep in mind. And then the last option that I'll mention here is the GORUCK GR1, which is another premium price bag that has a very solid build quality. That one's going to have a different aesthetic than this. Obviously, it has a little bit more of a tactical feel, but it works well in a lot of environments. That's one of my favorite daily carry bags. It's offered in a few different options, and if you're looking for something with a simple layout that's going to be with you for a very long time, that's going to be one of the best options to check out. With all that being said, the Bolt Backpack holds up really well against all those bags. And if you're looking for something stylish and durable that's gonna offer tons of comfort, some nice organizational options, and plenty of space, this is gonna be a great option to check out. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think of the Bolt Backpack, and if there are any similar bags that you think I should feature on the channel. As always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you guys found this video useful, please give us a like, and if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos, and thank you guys so much. Thank mm -hmm. you.